All right, so how's it going, everybody? We are back playing Kerbal Space Program 2, and we are here in the VAB. This is going to be the first video of a series I make on colonizing Duna. So we are going to get right in it. I chose to send a rover there first. It was, you know, kind of an arbitrary choice. I could have sent a space station into orbit around Duna first, or maybe a landed a base there. But I will go ahead and put a rover there so they have a form of transportation when they begin. So this is pretty much the rover in its final form. I will change out those wheels for some medium ones. I uh, did a little testing that I didn't bother to, you know, put, put that in. I just did it off camera and edited it out. So just to speed things up a little bit, you know, I don't want the build to take 10 minutes or longer. So yeah, we just skip, skip around here. These are the wheels I decide to go with. I do move the parachutes on the side and the solar panels around. I don't know if you noticed I have those solar panels on backwards, but I didn't notice it until I was in orbit and I kind of like the look of it because it's like two panes coming off the sides you'll see later but it it, it kind of looks pretty cool it's a little janky but i went with it and it works no clipping or cracking effects so yeah we're just uh, wrapping up things here's the building of the fairing which i don't really like the fairings in ksp2 yet it's kind of necessary in this situation you know just with the drag that that uh rover would have through the atmosphere getting into orbit but that's okay we will get there with that fairing just fine so there it is in its final form we will bounce over through the launch pad and get this thing shot into low kerbal orbit Oh yeah, flies great. It's actually pretty stable. Really not much wobble. Expected to maybe see a little bit poke through that fairing, but I didn't see any. This is actually after the second patch. So it is running so much better for me. I have a 3070, yeah, a 3070 graphics card and the eight gigabytes of VRAM I think is really killing me on this, especially while also filming. So yeah, here we are, we arrived in orbit and we're gonna do a small gravity assist around the moon just to save a little bit of delta V. It won't save much, it's like a little over a hundred, you know, but we don't have a ton of extra delta V for this mission, so every little bit of saved helps. All right, so there we go. We uh, wrap out and come very low in our encounter with the Mun there. Before we slingshot around and exit the Mun's sphere of influence before exiting Kerbin's sphere of influence. All right. So now we're in an orbit around the sun we are going to plan our maneuver to Duna. It's 
So as you see, my burn to Duna is going to take about a little under 900 meters per second. So we will go ahead and get that going. Just gonna, gonna speed things up through these maneuvers just to get us into this, uh, into Duna's sphere of influence. Some small, small adjustments to make to get that really good encounter. There we go. That'll work. We can warp to Duna. As you see, I, I ended up with, you know, plenty of Delta V for this, so. It was no problem, even though we did get kind of a high inclination for Duna. It doesn't really matter because, you know, I'm landing on the surface we can just adjust our orbit to where we come in around the equator. Here we are, we're gonna tidy up our orbit to circularize around Duna. All right, there we go. I had started to uh, warp down to the periapsis, but uh, I, was, I brought my periapsis in a little bit more before I did that. I'm going to take it down to uh, around 40, maybe under 40,000 meters. So that should give us good arrow breaking. All right, so we'll do some arrow breaking to bring down our apoapsis a little bit here. That'll help us with our, our speed coming in. Then we will burn retrograde. And that puts us in a pretty good, pretty good approach to land where it's bright out. Sort of. I didn't realize it at the time, but the reason I'm spinning like that is because, um, for one, the atmosphere is just, you know, too much. For this but if I didn't if I just would have had the stability on instead of uh, the SAS trying to point me retrograde this thing would have been way more stable I think I'm pretty sure that's what it was it was just trying to fight to be retrograde so that's why we got all that spinning but it works out anyways we're gonna go ahead and warp down to our final hundred meters here little bit of a rough landing but Bill survives it this like I said this thing's kind of a tank so we are all good on that front and so we're just gonna kind of warp to the day to get some better lighting here and Bill is going to hop out to plant the flag as always Right. Make sure the, the rover isn't rolling. And that looks good. Do a quick photo op here with Bill. And he will hop in the rover to do some joyriding. All right, well, that's all I have today. I will leave you off with a, with a montage of the rover. As always, thanks for watching.